Hello witches, wizards and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts school letters, welcome to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is the YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes for every item of food and drink that we find. Side. If you missed last week's recipe where we made some magical Wizarding World toffee, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if it's your first time in the kitchen and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new recipe. Speaking of which, let's head back into the car. It's quite a long car journey, so let's head back into chapter five, The Whomping Willow, to see where the boys are up to. So they are still chasing the train, and Harry and Ron have pretty much worked their way through all the toffee that we made last week. So now they're feeling a little bit sick and very thirsty. And I can see our next recipe. He had stopped noticing the fantastic cloud shapes now, and was thinking longingly of the train miles below, where you could buy ice cold pumpkin juice from a trolley pushed by a plump witch. There might not be a trolley in sight, still got the juice. If you'd like to make this Wizarding World pumpkin juice then all of the ingredients, measurements and instructions are up on my website bradleybakes.co.uk. The link is down below in the description. I've been looking forward to brewing up some pumpkin juice for quite some time and today is finally going to be the day. So I'm going to walk you through the whole process of how to make pumpkin juice at home inspired by the refreshing drink from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It is a really, really simple recipe and we're going to use the base pumpkin puree which you can buy in the shops but I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin puree at home because again it is so, so easy and you can make it and store it for whenever you need some fresh pumpkin juice. To prepare your easy pumpkin puree recipe, you want to peel your pumpkin and then use a serrated knife to chop it in half. Remove the seeds and then chop it into chunks. You don't have to worry about them being too small because we're going to puree them in a blender afterwards. Place these onto your baking tray and then lightly sprinkle over some salt to help bring out the sweet pumpkin flavour. You can steam the pumpkin if you prefer, but I like to do it in the oven as this helps bring out some of the natural sweetness in the pumpkin. You want to bake these until they just start going golden, which will take about 15 to 20 minutes at 140 degrees Celsius. You'll know they're done when you can easily pierce them with a knife or fork. I'm gonna allow them to cool slightly before placing into a food processor and then blend together until smooth. You can then use this straight away or store it for another day. So that is our easy pumpkin puree all done and once it's cooled down you can store that in the fridge for up to a week or keep it in the freezer and then whenever you get the craving for some fresh pumpkin juice you can take it out and brew some up and what's even better is that if you're not in the mood for pumpkin juice you can also use this as a really quick easy base for soups, sauces or stocks. So it's really versatile and will keep you going. Okay next we're going to move on to brewing that pumpkin juice and we're going to do this by simmering all of those ingredients in our pan and the reason we do that is because if you just pour it into a glass and drink it it will taste kind of nice like a smoothie but you won't get that depth of flavour that's going to make this really magical. So we're going to heat that up, give all the spices a chance to infuse with that pumpkin flavour and then you'll have the best tasting pumpkin juice in the wizarding world. Place the pan on a medium heat and then we're going to add in our pumpkin puree, our sugar and our ground spices. So that's nutmeg and ginger. Just as you start to hear this sizzle, we're then gonna pour in some cloudy apple juice. Next, we're gonna add in our spices. So that's the cinnamon, star anise, cloves, and the peel of an orange. Finish with some vanilla and then give it a good stir until well combined. Keep the temperature nice and low because we don't want to evaporate off too much of the liquid but you should start to see the depth and colour of your pumpkin juice go darker. Allow this to come to the boil until it starts bubbling and then turn the heat down low and allow it to simmer for about half an hour. Give it a taste test and once you're happy you can then take it off the heat and allow it to cool. Once your pumpkin juice is completely cooled, you want to pour it through a sieve just to remove all of those spices and then you can bottle it and it will keep in the fridge for three to four days. And our Harry Potter pumpkin juice recipe is complete. This recipe is best served over ice, so fill up your glass, pour the pumpkin juice over the top and you can even add in your stick of cinnamon to serve. Cheers! Cheers! 
So that is how you can create your own Wizarding World of Harry Potter pumpkin juice at home. It is a super easy pumpkin juice recipe and the best thing is you can add in different ingredients and make your own pumpkin juice punch which is going to be super refreshing in summer. That is all for this week's recipe but let me know down below in the comments if you're going to give this one a go and if you want to see some more Harry Potter recipes make sure you hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell and then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there's a brand new recipe. I'm off to enjoy my pumpkin juice and I'll see you next time. Bottoms up! <laughs>